Hey guys, I want to show you a clip from a game I played and how I dealt with a bit of a rough start and I got back on track and it may help some of you guys if you find yourself in a similar situation and you haven't really thought about how you would handle it. We're going to see a basic start here putting down two houses while scouting for sheep. Now ideally the sheep arrive just as those villagers get to the town center but it's not unusual for a couple of seconds of delay. So I use a scout to explore in a circular pattern and at this point I still can't find the sheep and the first house is done. So I send the other house builder to explore because his house isn't an immediate concern and I have some population space at the moment. The idea is that I need the sheep fairly early if I want to keep steady villager production without having to stop and get loom or even worse to idle my town center entirely. After a few more seconds, I still don't have sheep, so I'm going to move the free villagers to wood in order to keep them working, and at the same time, I'm still paying a lot of attention to my scouting. I'm having some pretty bad luck so far and still can't find the sheep, so the follow-up is to make a mill. And that's part of why gathering the wood was so important, so I can get the wood back for the houses and have enough to make a mill and lumber camp again. As you can see, I'm about to get the last villager out from my starting food, and I still don't have a food income. So the next step is to get loom in order to keep my town center busy now that I'm completely out of food and the priorities now are to keep the scout moving and the town center working as much as possible. You should have four sheep within maybe 10 tiles of your starting location but missing sheep sometimes end up stuck around water especially on Arabia so it's worth scouting those out if you know you're missing some and that's what I'm doing here. At this point I have six or seven on the forage bushes so I can pretty much keep a steady stream of villagers. Finally, I find the sheep, so I'll send a few villagers to start gathering from those, and the next few villagers I create will head to either the straggler trees around the town center, or if I have the wood, I'll make a lumber camp. After this, the idea is to transition back into a normal-ish build by putting the next four onto wood. In the end, I'm a bit behind, but an otherwise disastrous start is mostly avoided, considering I found the sheep at three and a half minutes instead of the usual 30 to 60 seconds. To train your intuition a bit about how far this has set me back, I'm getting my ninth villager out at 3 minutes and 42 seconds and I've gotten loom, which means I've had 47 seconds of town center idle time, or in more practical terms I'm about 2 villagers behind the ideal, but probably only 1 villager behind a moderately skilled opponent. If I'd made the mill a bit earlier I probably could have closed that gap a bit more as well. In this case, after that I went up to feudal age a little bit later, but things ended up working out. So that's how I deal with not being able to find sheep, and the main message is don't panic. I talk a lot about efficiency and stuff like that, but as long as you're taking those basic steps of chopping wood and then moving to berries, it's certainly not a situation where you can't come back. And personally, I'll have to make sure in the future that I don't overlook any spots, because if there's even just a couple of tiles missed, sheep have a way of finding those. Keep in mind that your town center has a 7 tile line of sight from its edge and the average tile distance from the nearest edge of the town center to the nearest sheep I found is about 6.8 tiles. But even with a fairly small sample size I found instances of over 9 tiles away and others about 4. I guess a lot of it comes down to luck which you don't have control over but what you do have control over is how you respond to minimize the damage from that. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.